In this short video, I will show you how to set up and use RCM, Roughworks Citation Manager, which allows you to connect Microsoft Word or another word processing software, for example for Mac, with Roughworks in order to add citations and references straight into your documents. RCM is a Word add-on and it will appear in the ribbon in Word. To set it up, you need to download the RCM software. To do that, please visit the Microsoft App Store and search for Refug Citation Manager. You then need to log in with your St George's details. It will download and appear in Word. You can also find RCM straight from within Word. Go to Insert and find Get Add-ins. Here you can find RCM. You can see I have added RCM already. If you have an older version of Word, or if you are using a Mac, you can download right in site instead. You can do so straight from RefWorks. Go to Tools and then Tools again. In the Tools section under Site References in your Word Processor, you click on Other Windows and Mac versions and then you find the appropriate one for you, including instructions on how to set it up. Please note that once you have started working on a document using either RCM or Right Inside, you cannot change which software you are using. We recommend you continue using Right Inside to finish your current assignment and then make the change if you want to. Once you have downloaded RCM, you will see an RCM tab when you open Word. To open RCM, you need to click on this and then on the RCM icon, which will open a menu on the right hand side. To access RCM, please put in your St George's email address and password. If you set up your RefWorks account yourself with a different password, rather than logging in via Shibboleth originally, you need to use the password that you used for that account. The first thing to do is to make sure that RCM is using the correct citation style. Click on the menu on the left. You can change the citation style here. You can search for a style if you want. Almost all of you will use the institutional style, which is Harvard. You can see what Harvard looks like by clicking here. The home icon will take you back to the main menu. Let's insert an in-text citation first. We can find the one that we want to add either by navigating to the correct folder, or if we remember the title and or the authors, we can search for the reference here. Let's say I want to add an in-text citation for a resource on study skills I just read. You can actually see that the first example that comes up has some missing data. I first need to correct that in RefWorks itself before I can use it. Within RCM, you can only edit the in-text citation itself. To add the correct reference to my text, I click on Citus and an in-text citation will appear. When you code from a specific page, you need to add the page number or numbers to your in-text citation in keeping with cite and write rules. Please do not add the page number to your document directly. Instead, you need to add the page number to the in-text citation within RCM. Otherwise, when RCM automatically updates the text with a new in-text citation, it will revert back to the original in-text citation without the page numbers. To add the page number, you click on Edit This, and then you add the page number as a suffix. You can see we need to include all the correct punctuation as well. If you're unsure about the correct punctuation, please consult Cite and Write. When we are ready, we click on Insert Citation and we can see it will add it to the document including the page numbers. To correct a mistake here, I need to go to RefWorks to edit the reference. I have now added the missing information to my reference in RefWorks. I then need to refresh RCM so it is synchronized with RefWorks. It is very important to remember that if you change a reference, or if you imported more references since you last logged in, you need to refresh here so that RCM updates. In order to minimize processing time, RCM doesn't automatically create a reference for my reference list each time I add an in-text citation. You can change that here. We recommend that you create your bibliography towards the end of your writing process, but you can decide to let it update automatically. Finally, a word of caution. RefWorks and RCM are not 100% accurate and you will come across a number of errors and mistakes. It is your responsibility that your in-text citations and references are correct. Please double check each of your references, in particular if the resource has more than one author. Also make sure that your edition, editor, 
publisher and publication location are present, correct and in the right format according to Sightem Right. Thank you for watching this short video on how to use RCM for RefWorks. Please be aware that RCM often is updated and so we might not have covered everything in this video. Should you have any questions, please email liaison at astual.ac.uk.